Okay, I'm here with Robert Scoble, and he's going to give us in very quick five tips on how to be a Betty video blogger. Hey, Robert. <laughs> be interesting. <laughs> okay, first tip, be interesting. <laughs> and if I knew how to define that. <laughs> Um, so what, what, are, what are the things you need to do to be a good video blog? You have how many visitors in your, your video about, blog? About a million a month right now. One on, million per on month. On Scoble Show and another 100,000 to 200,000 on Kite.tv, um, which is where I use my cell phone to video blog like you're using. Um, I mean, I, wow, that's a, that's a hard challenge because uh, what is interesting, right? And interesting to everybody will be something different. Focus on a niche and own that niche. Uh, talk, you know, if you're gonna be the wine blogger, you know, make sure you know everything about wine and cover everything and talk okay, about so, everybody. Okay, so one, be interesting. Two, narrow cast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well that just helps you focus your content. If you're gonna talk about everything, then people are gonna have a tough time finding you that are interested in what you care about, right? Um, yeah, you know when I uh, when I blog, I I'm the tech blogger. I don't write about politics. I don't write about horses. I don't write about sports. I write about tech blogging because I want to find other geeks in the world who care about the same things I do, um, and I stay focused on that topic generally. Um, you know that doesn't mean you can't do sports and politics, but do them as two separate video blogs maybe, so that people can search Google and find your content for sports under sports and politics under politics. Okay, which I wanted to ask you about search, very important question. Yeah. How many people find your videos through search? What are your tips a to lot. making videos more searchable? At, at, atomot, atomatize them. Turn them, make sure that you do one topic per video. So, um, for instance, if I'm gonna do, uh, you know, five different companies, I'll do each company as a separate video so that you, when you search YouTube for you know, uh, information on eBay, you're going to find the eBay video and it's not going to be diluted by being mixed in with information about Apple or information about... And so you just slice and dice it. Slice that, and dice it as much as possible yeah, to make Chris it more Perillo, searchable. Chris Perillo, for instance, is doing an awesome job of that. He does uh, an evening live show, so it's four to eight hours long, but he just talks mm -hmm. every evening. But he turns... he. He focuses on things for five minutes and then he'll cut those things out and put them up on YouTube. YouTube is where his traffic comes from. So by atomizing his content like that, um, he gets a much better audience and gets a much better search audience because people are searching for help with computers or whatever the topic is, good wine, whatever. Um, Third thing is don't shoot into right back. Don't don't do what we're doing just doing right now. It shows I am a very beginner amateur yeah, uh, vi video I, blogger. Let's try here. All right, here we go. Here. Let's turn around and there we go. Now I can actually see you. Okay, so, that's revolutionary. So look at the light. How about yeah, that? <laughs> yeah. Well, look at the background and don't shoot into a, a window or don't shoot into a, a light. Make sure the brightest thing in the object in the room is behind you as the camera. And right now it's behind you. The bright wall is behind you. Um, and that makes that actually puts light on my face so you can, your camera can see it and it also keeps the contrast down so you can see my face. Um, try to use a tripod if possible because that makes it steadier but if not hold it really steady but uh, you know I'm not I don't always follow that rule either but I I generally have a bigger camera. Can, that, you show, can we see your camera yeah. here quickly? So I have two cameras I use my cell phone for quick and dirty videos when I'm out on the town and then I have a big professional camera right. which lets me shoot in lower light and zoom in more and get better audio and hook on What about, uh, let's talk about something else, workflow. Any tips for workflow? Oh, uh, that depends where you're gonna put the videos. Uh, today's trend is moving towards streaming video, like Seismic. Well, Seismic's not quite streaming, but it's near streaming because you hook up your camera and you bring it right into Seismic and upload it because it's using Flash. Well, isn't everything uh, streaming? YouTube is streaming as well. No, right? YouTube is uh, you record it and then you upload it, right? It's it's. Oh, uh, I see. Streaming meaning flash. live recording. It's not Flash okay. recording, right? Okay. Live recording. Okay. Um, and there's services like Ustream, Justin.tv, or Mogulus, which is the one I'm going to be using, uh, which actually let you do live streaming. So I hook up my cell phone to uh, Mogulus, and I can actually get you your image live up on the web, and I can interact with people live as we're... That'd be great. So this would be going live up on the web, what we're doing right now. Yes. In fact, it's not. I'm going to be stuck with loading the sound onto my 
computer taking up tons of my memory, yeah. doing a, a, a an iMovie film that's going to take longer than I want because it's always going to be a hassle to do. It's the compression's not going to work the first time. Any tips on, on dealing with all of that hassle, or is that just mm, digital no, bureaucracy that we're stuck we with? We could spend hours on on all that. You know, I mean, if you look at what Rocket Boom's doing, they're actually distributing their video into several different formats so that you can play it on an Apple TV, you can play it on a TiVo, you can play it on an iPhone, you can play it on a Nokia phone, you can play it on your desktop PC and some other devices like the Wii probably in there too. So they have like, I don't know, five or ten different formats to, to put the video in. For the most part, at, at first you don't need to worry about that. Just pick like uh, YouTube or Blip.tv or one of these services and put your video up there and, and learn to do good video first before worrying about the formatting because you know if it's crap it, it, do, it doesn't matter that you can distribute it to five different devices people won't won't watch it and that the quality level now is going up because the competition is going up the, the number of people who have cell phones and who can get video up is going up so the amount of video every day coming at us is going up and we can't pay attention to it so make it short you know that's another tip right mm -hmm. make it short if you can I do long videos but I know how to break the rules or I just say hell with it and I want to do a long video but would you break different. would you break the beginning of a video make a short section of it and then do the long interview if you want to see the full version yeah. of this interview with this guy for the last an hour yeah you can in look fact at it. my editor is going through and picking out highlights of my long boring video and doing a five minute edited show and say hey if you like this interview go, you know we have the full long uh, conversation, which a lot of people care about, but you can watch that. Okay, well, that's doing that increased my hits by about thirty percent. Okay, we've got forty seconds remaining. Yep. Um, you mentioned editor, so having an editor or editing is that an important part of this? Because it, it gets in the do, workflow. It gets it, in the way of the workflow. It is if you do long videos. If you're doing cell phone videos, I find because of the time limit, it forces me to edit in the camera, which is making me talk really fast and get it done and get, be more interesting. Okay, right one there. more tip, 10 seconds to go. Uh, get better audio, which means keep the camera close to my mouth like this, and you're gonna get better audio, especially in a noisy environment like this. Audio really matters a lot more than anything else you do. Okay, thank you very much. That's it.